Five, a major break in a decades old cold case. The suspect wanted in violent attacks on women arrested, done in by an ice cream spoon. Right now on KPIX 5 and streaming on CBSN Bay Area, a DNA breakthrough helps nab the suspect in two violent East Bay sexual assaults. Good evening, I'm Alan Martin. And I'm Veronica Dela Cruz. KPIX 5's Katie Nielsen is at the Livermore Police Department with how investigators put together this genetic puzzle. Katie? Yeah, Veronica, it actually sounds like something out of a TV show. Detectives found a possible suspect using a DNA match to a distant relative. They then followed that suspect 24 hours a day until he threw away a spoon he'd used to eat ice cream. It's exactly what they needed for a DNA sample. Every victim deserves justice, uh, and in this case, is real rewarding because... It's so old. Police spent more than 20 years trying to figure out who violently raped two women. One as she walked home from Union City BART in May 1997, the other walking at Livermore High School in September of the same year. You're interviewing a sexual assault victim, and for the last 22 years, they it's been an unknown to them. Police were able to identify 61-year-old Gregory Vn as a suspect by uploading DNA evidence from the assaults into Gene by Gene, a genetic testing service. It came back with a match to a distant relative, and when they looked at the family tree, they immediately zeroed in on him. He was around Livermore during that time and he had connections to all the locations. Detectives made a DNA match from a plastic spoon they say VN threw away after eating ice cream. Officers then arrested him at his Livermore home, the same one they say he's lived in since the assaults more than 20 years ago. I think you know the people in your neighborhood. It's a beautiful neighborhood, as you can see, but just shocking. I mean, I, I'm just heart broke over it, actually, and I feel bad for his, for his family. Steve says he's lived next door to the suspect and his family for 20 years. He says Vienne is married with at least two daughters in their 20s and a new granddaughter. Very proud grandpa. You know, walking around the neighborhood, hey, you know, like grandpas do. But uh, I thought nothing of it. Then within two weeks of this breaks, shocking. Livermore police believe that he could be connected to three other unsolved sexual assaults from 1995 to 1997 because of the similarities in the attacks. Now, Vienne is actually scheduled to enter a plea on Wednesday at his next court appearance. He's currently being held without bail in the Alameda County Jail. Live at the Livermore Police Department, Katie Nielsen, KPIX 5.